The classical school emerged during the 18th century in Europe. Predominantly in the United Kingdom, the cradle of the first industrial revolution, and in France. The first industrial revolution effectively produced the first contemporary economists of capitalism and the industrial age. This school of thought, known as the classical school, united authors subscribing to economic liberalism and a capitalist economic model. The classical economists subscribed to two theories the labor theory of value, and the notion of the circular flow of income, which we will examine in the next chapter. The theories of the classical economists were based on two bywords, capitalism and liberalism. Let's start with the concept of capitalism, which describes in an ideal world an economic and social system built on four inseparable characteristics, namely, Private ownership of the means of production, equipment. The initiative of private entrepreneurs driven by personal financial interest. Profit. And the decentralized and spontaneous coordination of economic decisions by means of competitive market mechanisms. Now, let's move on to the concept of liberalism, which is based on four principles that together define a conception of the natural order of society. The model of Homo economicus. The common good as the sum of individual interests. A knowable natural order. And the notion of the night watchman state. In this chapter, we will present the four main representatives of the classical school and their theories, namely Adam Smith, David Ricardo, Thomas Robert Malthus, and Jean-Baptiste de Say. Click on each name for more information about the authors and their key theories. Link the definition to the concept it describes. Great, that's the right answer. A market is said to be efficient when, at its equilibrium, it enables the maximum possible number of transactions to be completed. A market is self-regulating if the market price does not deviate from the equilibrium price in the long run. Which of the following concepts and theories are attributed to Adam Smith? Remember that all of the concepts and theories are attributed to Adam Smith, with the exception of the law of markets and the law of supply and demand, which are attributed to the French economist Jean-Baptiste Say.